Good evening, and welcome to Made You Look Halloween. And in this tutorial, I'll be going over this year's Halloween Queen. Erin, before the pumpkin spice lattes are out, then you guys a pumpkin spice lexte with pumpkin seeds. Maybe not when they're covered in latex. All the products that you say we listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact. I'm starting off by outlining my pumpkin mouth using a eyebrow marker and I'm then filling in the rest of my face using an orange body paint, avoiding that mouth section. Using orange eyeshadow, I'm then filling in the general texture that's going to be separating the upper jaw from the lower jaw. As well as sketching in where the eyes are going to go, as well as the ridges of the pumpkin. I'm then using the same orange eyeshadow to shade the top of the ridges of the pumpkin. This will be the top of your head, above your mouth, and then also underneath your mouth. At this point, I also decided that I wanted the top of my head to be cracked open, so I also added that crack as well. To define that crack, I went ahead and used brown eyeshadow and just outlined it darker. I also outlined the darkness around the eyes. It's a lot easier to go in with lighter colors and build up than try to go right in with dark colors and take it away. You can also use this brown shadow to deepen up the contouring on the cheeks. Using black body paint, I outlined that crack as well and made some little cracks going up. I then used brown eyeshadows to shade the top of this top of the pumpkin. It's easiest to work in one section at a time than trying to do your entire face at once because it can easily get muddy. Once again, I'm using black body paint to define the cracks on the top. Using the same technique that I did on the top of the pumpkin, I'm going back in with brown eyeshadow and further defining each ridge and each crease in the pumpkin face, as well as giving some shading around the mouth. I also just bought the Stardust palette, so I also went ahead and used some colors in there as well. In fact, Double Tap out of that palette was my favorite thing to shade with for everything. It's like a red-brown. It's perfect. I'm literally just putting it all over my face. And using this color to deepen up my eyes as well as my temples. To create the pumpkin guts, intestines, organs of the pumpkin, I'm using a mix of yellow and orange body paint to create those strings within the mouth. Fill in the rest of your mouth black as well as add some holes in between those strings to actually make them look stringy. While filling in the mouth, you could also give the mouth its actual shape by doing the cracks going up on the sides. To create the nose, I just used black body paint and made cracks on my nose. As well as once again deepened up some lines. To give the pumpkin head that rotted type looking older dimply texture, that was a lot of adjectives. I'm going and using an eyebrow marker and pretty much giving the pumpkin freckles. And I'm concentrating this around the darkest parts of the pumpkin. Just to highlight certain areas, I also went ahead using a yellow eyeshadow. Go ahead and line your eyes. For the body, we're pretty much repeating the same process that we did on our face. Apply a base of orange body paint, then using orange eyeshadows to fill in the ridges of the pumpkin as well as shading around each ridge. Taking brown eyeshadow and defining those ridges as well as blending that out. Going in with some yellow highlight, applying that red-brown eyeshadow literally everywhere because it was amazing. Defining your pumpkin cracks with black as well as giving your pumpkin some dimples. To 
create a super awesome goopy effect. I used silicone that was safe for your skin as well as mixed in a little bit of yellow and orange pigment to give it the right coloring and then dripped that onto my face. I also have a video that's going to be going over silicone and other types of effects makeup and you can find a link for that in the description below. Once the silicone is almost set, I'm sticking pumpkin seeds on my face. And of course, since you don't want them to look like they're just stuck in there, apply a little more silicone on top of that. To get the flap that goes over your mouth so you're still able to talk, I applied some silicone on a table, let it dry, and then peeled it off and applied it to my upper lip. Be sure you powder underneath that so that way it's not sticking to your lips, but that way it looks like your mouth is gooey and disgusting and you're still able to speak because I never shut up.